hi everyone welcome back in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can make the api with the lumen so basically in this video i am not going to show you with the code but i will tell you the all steps that we need to do uh, during the apis with the good standard and after that i'll share uh, you some links in the description so that you can uh, go through these links and you can understand that how we can create the api with the code and example so now let's get start so first thing when we create the api we need to uh, authentication so that we can check that the user is authenticated or not because in the apis we cannot use the session so that we need to set up some kind of token uh, by the way i will uh, recommend recommend that you have to use a jwt token which is already provide a lots of functionality like uh, auto validations password resets and uh, sha256 and sha1 uh, 512 and all this uh, kind of uh, uh, token uh, token validations and verification all these things provided by this and if you don't want to use a jwt then you can use your custom token which you can save in the database or uh, you can use some timestamps also so it's totally depend on the you but in this token if you use a jwt then what you have to do you have to add the package in the composer then you have to generate the token with the login api and uh, if you want to see that how we can do that i will i already made a video on the jwt which is already all things are uh, showing the step by steps you can take the reference from here the link is given in the description box also so after the generating the token you have to put this uh, uh, talk you have to verify the token for that you can make a middleware so that uh, you cannot uh, verify all the apis with the single function then how you can make the middleware this is also showing in the jwt video you can find it my channel also all right so the next thing is after that you have to make some common function for response so let's say you have the 10 apis and in the 10 apis you want to show some kind of status some kind of error codes some kind of data which is already in formatted in formatted in a proper way then you can make a common function so that you can reduce your work time and the function can reuse in the all apis and same thing with the error and success code so let's say when you are making the uh, create profile api then you have to check the validation and then if you have to create the some contact us form and some other forms then also you need have to check need to check the uh, validations so you can make a common error code and success code so that uh, you can also save the time for this uh, I, in the next video I will show you all these things then how we can do this the common functions and common error code and all these things in the next video uh, then there is a um, mostly three type of four type of APIs that you will use kind of get post put and the delete the get API is always used to get the data kind uh, it's all it should always be you with the select command only and if you are going to use some uh, insert the data or update the data then you should never use the get apis for example you are using the uh, uh, you are getting the list of the products list of the users actually it's not uses it's a user that's my mistake in the spelling all right so in the next uh, what is the post and put uh, in the post when we have to some uh, save the data like uh, 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 when we make the contact us fame form or create profile then we can use the post data because we are purely saving the data for update let's say you want to update some setting functionality or profile update profile and all these things or update password then you can use the put all right uh, and the last thing is if you have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box I will try to give you the quick reply and I already uh, describe a playlist in the description box so you can check all this video in this playlist so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you have any kind of question I already tell that you can ask me in the comment box thanks again